Just so you know, I have no clue what I'm doing. My name's Tom, and I classify myself as a mediocre fly fisher. Oh, I came for it. Gotta get over. Ah, came off. But, great day learning. I'm a marketing director by day and a serial hobbyist every other moment. I do calligraphy, web development, home renovation, auto repair, and who knows what else. Oh, yeah, I'm also a fly fisher. Oh. He slammed that. I'm still new to the sport, but I live and breathe everything flat fishing. Most of my fishing is in the city where I live, but I wanted to get out and go somewhere new. I cut out the blue lines, did my research, and set off for Smoky Mountains National Park. To say I was excited for this trip would be a gross understatement. I wanted a small creek in the mountains and I wanted that creek all to myself. This was going to be my first time solo backpacking. Yeah, it was also going to be my first time backpacking, period. My wife thought I was going to get eaten by a bear. My friends thought I was going to get eaten by a bear. I told myself I wasn't going to get eaten by a bear, but I'm not sure I was completely convinced. The hike in went without a hitch, aside from the fact that because of the time I had, I was racing to get to the designated camp spot before complete darkness hit. I was taking out with the package for the first time, set up with only a few choice words. I got dinner ready, made myself some hot chocolate, and sat by the creek starting to get pumped about my next day of fishing. As you can probably tell, we are no longer in the city. Today we're going to be uh, fishing along this stretch of the river here and uh, just kind of exploring around, seeing what we can find. Wanted to hike in a lot farther, just try to explore around and uh, find some places that probably aren't fished quite as much. So I can't resist. I'm gonna throw in right here this hole that is right across my camp. I don't really have high hopes for this. I've been watching for fish last night when I came in. I definitely did some watching, seeing if I could find anything. All right, this right here is the pool I was working my way towards. Hey everyone, uh, just spent a little bit of time fishing around where I was camping. Uh, fished a few pools, went up and down this little stretch here a little bit. Uh, didn't end up catching anything, so I'm gonna pack up and then uh, gonna start moving down the river and we're gonna be fishing the rest of the day. While the weather had called for storms, skies were blue, 
Yesterday's rain had cooled the air and the creek was running clear and cold. fishing this morning, uh, had some lunch, and I have just uh, not had any luck so far over the past few hours. I've fished a ton of different pools here, um, just fishing plenty of different stretches uh, and nothing. The plan is right now, I'm gonna hike a bit uh, and hike back down to where kind of the creek opens up a bit more. Aside from the fact, I've been fishing for hours and hiked miles of the creek and yet to even see a single fish. No hits, bumps, or nipples on my nymph. Not a single curious rise to my dry. Nothing. I tried a dry dropper, an indicator rig, I downsized. I downsized again. I even tried tying on a streamer. Nothing. I hiked out seven miles along the creek fishing as I went over the course of 13 hours and nothing. I returned home late that night, happy with the backpacking, which went great for my first time, but completely depressed with the day of fishing. With my spirits thoroughly dashed, I returned to the mountains the next day for an anniversary trip with my wife. A small creek running through the property. Even though my enthusiasm was at all time low, I woke up early to once again cast another fly. That one. Fish or back on. Oh, yeah! Woo. The creek was filled with all sizes of hungry browns and rainbows. Earlier that week, I had wanted to give up fly fishing altogether, but now the game was back on. Say I was pumped wouldn't even come close to the truth. Beautiful.
That is a good sized rainbow right there. All right, I'll hooks out. Ah, oh, good sized fish. Pretty rainbow. When you try something new and give it your all, you will have points of failure. It's a part of learning. But if you are scared to try, yeah. scared to fail, scared of what may happen, scared of what others might think, Woo. another brown. You can never experience the joy and satisfaction that comes from eventual success. And the fish. And the I don't subscribe to the entire movement of glorifying failure, but if you have never failed at something, you aren't trying hard enough. That's something. Small fish. Wow! Little rainbow. Thanks for watching. Feel free to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want, and uh, we'll catch you in the next video. See ya. Thanks. Oh, I love a blue girl in there. Some of our usual. There we go.